Hey y'all, welcome back to the Prepared Overlander. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a little rundown on um, what I've done to my truck so far, um, and how you can use it for overlanding and in preparedness. Okay, so uh, basically like a uh, bug out vehicle. All right, so it's gonna be yeah, it'll be a quick video though, and I'm gonna try to remember to describe all the things I did to um, make it to where. You can see both sides of this, um, whether it be for overlanding or for uh, preparedness. All right, so um, I guess since uh, we're right here, we'll go ahead and start off with the back. All right, so in the back, you can see, and I do have, so I got this rack here it's by Go Rhino. All right, I got a, um, a lot of this stuff at Four Wheel Parts. Um, so the Go Rhino, I do have a Smitty built tent that goes on the top, just not on there. We went on vacation earlier this year, took it off because we didn't need it, um, didn't need the extra weight either. So, uh, but I will probably be putting that back on for um, some overlanding uh, during the winter. All right. So I got an awning here as well. Uh, so basically the tent, it can be overlanding because you got camping, can also be uh, for your bug out vehicle. Um, one of the things that people don't think of is a tent. Um, I'm not a fan of the poncho. I'm not a fan of the sleeping under a tarp. I, I, I've done those uh, during bad weather, cold, rain, wind. If you're up in the mountains, especially in the, in the plains, it's going to be um, bad if you can't get completely out of the environment. And like a lot of these tarps, you're gonna have the two sides open. Okay, so with that in mind, I carry, you're gonna have this tent for camping. It's a four person tent. You can get a king size bed in it. So um, you can probably fit more in there, five people if you really had to. So you can use that for uh, on your bug out vehicle. Set it up whenever uh, you're out and about, have to make a stop, okay? I know a lot of people don't like that. It is an option though. Whether you like it or not, it's an option. All right, so I got this, um, this awning as well bring you on over here all right so i got this awning as well that i put up there it's uh, also made by smitty belt it does pretty good um get you out of the the sun okay you can um shade it gets you out of the weather okay um as you can see so for both uh, overlanding and preparedness it does the same thing get you out of the sun get you out of the rain if you're you're cooking or, or just sitting around waiting or whatever you're doing Okay. I also put this on, uh, it's, it was designed and made to go on the tailgate of a Wrangler. So what I did is I adjusted it to um, fit on the, the side pant rack of, of my um, bed rack system. Okay. You can put cups in it, you can put whatever you want on top of it, but it sits up here and I, I made it work. Um, it's great for overlanding. Sitting around, you can put um, things up here that you don't want, you know, food prep area or whatever, um, like cooking on the back tailgate. Um, when things are done, you can put them up here, keep them up off the ground, uh, and it will also keep it out of the rain and the weather if you have your, your awning out, all right? So, go here, I'll just edit this a little bit, all right. So the next thing I'm going to talk about is the um, the decked drawer system. Okay, so when I bought this truck, I intended it to be just for overlanding um, and some other whatever other things. Um, bug out vehicle second, but overlanding first. I I traded in my Ram Rebel. It was too big and wide for a lot of the trails here in, in uh, Georgia in the southeast. Um, so I traded this in and first thing I found was we needed room. <laughs> my, my Rebel also had the, um, the com compartments in the, uh, in the bed. And uh, that you, you add a lot of space there along with the stuff inside. So what I found is that the truck didn't have the cargo capacity that I needed. Um, well, secured storage space that I needed um, for overlanding and for preparedness. So this was my alternative here. My option is putting in a deck system, the drawers. 
So in this one, you can see this drawer is obviously wider than the other drawer. Um, and as you can see, you fit a lot of things in, in here. It comes with this little plastic goodie here. Um, I always carry around some toilet paper. You never know when you might need it. And um, here's a bunch of other things that I carry around. Um, my bug out bags in there. Um, extra magazines. Some extra things in here. There's my radio. Things like that. Um, I may go into doing a, a video about bug out bags and stuff like that. I always have an extra tent. It's a three person tent. Um, I carry this in here. And the reasoning for this tent is, one, if I um, have to bug out, I got a, another tent. Like today, if I had to bug out, I didn't have, I don't have a, uh, my rooftop tent, so I need some place to stay, okay? Um, over landing, it's just an extra tent uh, in case you meet up with somebody um, on the trail, you don't have a tent or something, you, you can let them use one, um, or you have a buddy that forgot to pack it, you can, you can use always have an extra tent um, and in here later I'll go into what all else I have in here but the deck system is great and that's my preparedness drawer this one here usually has my um, recovery gear in it but today um, we went out on a longer trip and I wanted to take some extra um, preparedness stuff but um, as you can see carry extra cold weather stuff here a hat and um, whatever else in here. Um, there's a container for all that, some gloves, um, extra aid pouch here, um, water. I got my silky saw. So, like the silky saw, uh, it can be used for both because um, I can strap it to my bag. Okay, um, extra water, water bowl. For the dog okay i do have this small um plate carrier in here now okay this one i've done a video on you can look it up later um it does have a uh, mag pouch okay you can fit three magazines in here um somehow it has a socket in there right now I'm not sure how, why that's in there oh wait a minute that's not a socket um this is uh, multi wrenched for the water um, water fountains on the outside of buildings so there's four four different sizes just in case I got it at um, Lowe's I think it was like five bucks so you can turn on the water if you need it um, so keep that there so it doesn't get lost I actually forgot it was there but I have it there I have my identifier here this is all in um, IR it will flash back IR and then I have my blood type on here so this is a small I put a little tourniquet, first aid pouch on the side. This will, um, it can uh, conceal underneath your bag pretty easily, or underneath a sweaty, or sweat hoodie, or a bat, or whatever else, pretty easily. Um, little jacket, eh. cup, just in case. You never know when you might need a cup. Okay, so it, it'll do all that pretty easily. Um, another. Another pouch here with first aid in it and things like that. All right, so we got a lot of different things in here. A lot of this stuff, uh, first aid, if you get hurt out on the trail, you have first aid pouch. You're going to need that. Um, everything in here has two purposes. It can be, I mean, I've got hats and everything. Stay out of the sun. Got an extra one for some people. I got warm hats. I got everything in here. Um, it can be used both for preparedness, obviously bugging out. Um, you're out in a storm, need something, it's right here, uh, extra water, but it can also be used as a, for bugging out. Okay. So if you look at it like bugging out, um, uh, I don't know, uh, all of this stuff has a purpose for both. Uh, you can probably think of it on your own. All right. So that's why I put this in here. All right. So let's move on to the side. Oh, on this side. Uh, I bought this extra one and put it up here. I am going to be mounting some things on here in the future. Um, so that's something to think about down the road. Okay. Bought one of these little rip field craft survival. 
obviously you can put some things in it and that's first aid um have all that out back i do have i made this myself i have a video on that as you can see it's a lock on both sides to keep things underneath it keep it secure all right um so we'll go on to the front of the vehicle here it's a i think it's a 10,000 pounds midi built winch that i put on here right here winches can be used for multiple things i'm not sure if you can see it the sun's glaring but i think you can all right so winches can be met, used for multiple things i mean you can have a tackle uh lock and tackle if you needed to you can use the winch to raise up the front of the truck you can use the winch to pull things out of the trail um, you, know, you can use the winch to open a, um, a lock gate uh, you can use the winch for a lot of different things so it's not just for pulling other vehicles or pulling yourself out of a bad place although that's uh, one or two different uses for it um, I mean your imagination you can do a lot of things with with these winches uh, so um, I've actually seen in a video where they use the winch they put it up underneath and then pulled part of the axle back into place um, on another vehicle so uh, that's that's using your head on that one there all right so the everything on the truck other than the the suspension and everything stock. This is a 2022. Um, I've had this a little over a year. I've been working on it and doing the different things to it. Okay. So uh, the sun is right there. All right. <clears throat> Let's see if this is going to be good. All right. So I have these ditch lights. Two of them are aimed towards the front. Two of them. The other, the top two are aimed towards the side. I put these on along with this um, bracket here, mounting bracket. Okay, so obviously it can be used for multiple things um, over landing. If you wanted to see what, what you can leave your light, turn your lights off altogether and just use these to go forward. And that way people, it's harder to see the red lights from behind and you just shut these off. Um, so yeah, these can be used for both lighting up an area. Um, if you're coming up on somebody, you, you, you want to... Um, keep them from from seeing exactly where you are you can use this light these lights turn it on you can get out of your vehicle and you can make an approach similar like law enforcement uses those lights to approach a, a vehicle you can do the same thing um, if you think people are out gonna try to uh, use a circumstance to to uh, to harm you turn these lights on get out of the car don't shut the door because then they know you're out and get out of the vehicle and uh, make your approach from the side or, or whatever just to see what's going on. So remember all that. Here's an uh, antenna. It's magnetic. Um, I can move it if I want to. It's good here because what I have the antenna here for is for short range. All right. I don't need, need uh, a lot of distance for it, a lot of range. Um, basically what I use this for is con communicate with the vehicles in front or in behind me or if somebody is out on foot and they have a, uh, a GMRS radio. So I'll use the, the GMRS radio and this can actually be used if you're going to be using your vehicle as so sort of a base station as a, um, a little place to start with and you're sending out a team or, or you're going to go check out down a trail or something. Um, then you can communicate back with the, the vehicle. Um, I do have two uh, handheld radios inside the truck. All right, so that's my GMRS. And we come in here. All right, so up here, there's the radio mounted. Okay, I have it up there. The way I turn it on is I'll, I'll bring it around. Let me bring it around the other side. Probably be easier anyway. It's not going to turn it off. All right. All right. So here's my radios up there. Okay. Um, so this is GMRS radio. I have it mounted 
to here, I uh, plugged into here. I ran the wiring around here. Let's see. I ran the wiring up around here, down through here, and then into the engine compartment. And they, because Jeep, they have these auxiliary ports here, um, auxiliary wiring switches. Um, they have places in the engine compartment or underneath the, the kick panel in the passenger compartment where you can hardwire these things in and then use these here. All right. So I have all of these radios set up on these. All right. This one's for the radios and that one's for the outside and the front lights. So I still have two more that I haven't done anything with. All right. Um, so up here, you can see my, um, that's a CB radio. All right. So we have that CB radio there, GMRS there. Um, that's ran into the same cable that's running that one. So it makes it easier. CB radio, it gives me another line of communications. Plus in my other vehicle, I have a handheld CB um, type radio. Um, I think it's from Uniden. So with that, if I needed to, um, to contact some other people, that way I can. So it gives me two different ways. This is GMR. The other radio here is GMRS slash ham. I can get ham off of it. Uh, I can get ham off of my little handhelds. They're just little cheap bow fangs. Um, some of them are a little bit updated, upgraded, have like nine or 10 watts in them. But um, so then I have, so I have this right there and up in here as well. I should put, I added this little Molly panel thing um, to keep so I can store my stuff up there. Up here as well, I also have a, it's a, not a WeBoost, but it's a, a cheaper version, um, budget friendly version, I should say, of a WeBoost, um, costs like a hundred bucks, but it does boost the, uh, the cell service 4G, 5G. All right. Um, then I ran them all right up there on, so that antenna right there works for, um, a shorter range. It's probably not the best antenna, but it's what I have for right now. I got to buy another one for the CB, but it does work. It does transmit and receive for, um, for the CB, probably not as good as it should or would if I had a, an actual CB antenna, but I'm working on, I got to get it. Um, just a lot of things that, that I've been working. I got to, I'm outfitting two vehicles, so make do with what I have when I have it. Uh, okay. And then the Wii booth, the other antenna is up there. Um, so this is what I have so far for this truck. Um, it is, can be used, as I said before, for both, um, overlanding and for a bug out vehicle. Um, it's a Rubicon, so it does have the locking front rear differentials. The reason I did, I bought this one in particular is because I wanted to have the, um, front and rear locking and in 2022 it was the only one on the market that was a mid-size truck that had that option um, now there's there's more but I like having also the um, the uh, axle uh, in the in the front instead of independent so uh, that's that was why I bought it uh, if it doesn't work for you and you don't care then that's on you I know that's I'm not getting into an argument about which truck's better the what the truck that works for you is the best truck for you there's all kinds of different ones out there i know this one doesn't have the best towing or best payload or best engine or best whatever but it works best for me on what i wanted at the time and that's why i went with it um let's see in the future what i have uh come in is next year i'm gonna put on a, a lift um and probably going to go with the Mopar lift and just have them put it on as I do have an extended warranty on it. So they will cover the extended warranty covers all of that on here. So that will work out best for me. I know people out there, you should put your own lift on. You should do this. Well, um, I probably should have got taken shop class and all kinds of other things when I was in school, but I didn't. So I'm not that mechanically inclined. Um, I'd rather have somebody else put it on for me. Um, when it goes bad, then I can just take it back to them and say, hey, fix this. You guys did whatever to it. 
okay plus it covers my extended warranty on the entire truck and there's a lot of electronic things on here that i don't want to have to pay for out of pocket all right so so i'm gonna put that lift on it put 37s probably 37 1250s on it give me a little bit of better ground clearance a little bit of better approach and departure angle um, what this will do for me on overlanding is it allow me to get into different trails take different trails um, but what it will allow me to do as a bug out vehicle is it makes it a little bit more capable uh, going over different things um, so that's my um, what I'm looking at with this truck um, I'll probably do another video with my Grand Cherokee so that way everybody can see what I've done to that where what the future looks like for that truck or that vehicle um, I do have a 2005 Grand Cherokee uh, limited uh, with the Quadra Drive 2 system in it um, pretty good I'm gonna be taking that up to the trails this weekend um, hitting up there but um, hey, if you have any comments or anything put them down below uh, you think I should have done something different or you have ideas um, that I don't have on this truck that will work for both preparedness and overlanding okay let me know in the comment section um, I'll be I'm trying to put out two to three videos a week on different subjects I am trying to stay away from all the wars going on right now um, I think it's dividing a lot of people um, I do have my point of view on it but I don't think that's useful right now there's so many different preparedness channels out there that are giving their opinion you don't really need mine to, to go with this so I'm sticking on the um, what's going to happen when those nukes finally fly from whoever lets them off okay if these vehicles run I want the best vehicle that I can have uh, for that so anyway thanks y'all this is a lot longer than I'm used to on these videos there's a lot to cover I hope I explained everything uh, one of the things that I did on this I forgot so <clears throat> you can see on here these are lights uh, you can change them different colors so what I do is when I'm out in the woods I turn these on um, and it, it adds a little bit of uh, flare I guess but when the tents on with all of the lights up underneath her and see them all here up there what it does when that tents on it gives me light so I can see in the back of the bed when I have all my stuff stacked in um, and so there's a lot of different things that I take out camping and and overlanding uh, and that usually gets stacked in the back here um, one thing in the future that I am going to see about doing is putting a rack bolting it here and having it swing over or more like a swing gate not a rack having it swing over with some panels on it that I can lock and then everything in here will be a, a lot harder to get out so I can I can uh, leave things in here um, overnight different places and, and feel a little bit safer with it all right so hey y'all thanks for coming back please like subscribe share this video if you think other people can use this information uh, get it out there um, if you're not subscribed please subscribe help me out in the bot down the links the affiliate links for Amazon I do um, or can I haven't made any money off of it but I can make money off of that so if you'd like to support to help me get uh, more gear to put on this thing so I can make more videos please use those uh, links down below um, like I said if you have any comments anything any place that you think that I should go with this uh, let me know about that too anyway y'all thanks for coming back for uh, prepared overlander y'all have a great week